Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today we have a great selection of spring and summery, very adorable outfits from American Eagle and Aerie. As always when I make these American Eagle type videos, I will include an overlay at the bottom of the screen to let you know what I'm wearing, what size, how much I paid for it, because these items will still be available on the American Eagle website. So if you want to pick them up, be sure to go grab them ASAP. Now, as a reminder, I usually wear a size small in tops, a small or medium in bottoms, depending on what they are. And I'm only five foot one, so I'm very petite. And I will let you know if I'm wearing the petite size of an item, especially pants or the regular. Now let's just get into it because I am so excited about all of the things I want to show you today and most importantly about these pants. Now if you follow me on Instagram you will have already seen these. I have never loved a pair of pants more in my entire life. They are a floral pattern, so they are black with little white daisy style flowers on them. And they are these super, super wide leg, flowy, comfy pants. The thing about these, so I got these in a size small. They only had one length. They did not have short length in these. I <laughs> read the inseams for all of them. They made it sound like the medium would probably fit better based on measurements, but the small inseam would fit, so I got the small. Thank God, because these are still like loose on my waist. They are actually loose at the top of my hips, which is unusual, but then they fit perfectly on my butt, where I think that they make it look amazing. I mean, it looks amazing but I think that they really accentuate it while also not being too tight where it's uncomfortable or it feels like it's pulling at all. These are great. I highly recommend them. If you want a pair of like the comfiest wide leg flowy pants you will ever have, this is them. I used to have a pair of pants similar to this, but that had a ruched bottom that were from Lulu's and I loved them, I wore them constantly. But once my husband did my laundry, which was very kind of him, and put them in the dryer, and they shrunk so much that they just looked insane. They ended up being like way too short, too tight, like they just didn't, they didn't have the same feeling. So these will be going in a special place when they're dirty, so that doesn't happen. And I love them. Now they don't have pockets, they have nothing you would need to wear a purse or bring a wallet or something if you're going to have these pants but i love these for like a festival you're going to like a fun little food festival or like a music festival will that happen this year maybe maybe not but i could see myself wearing these for many years to come to cute events in like the late spring, early summer when it's still a little too cold for shorts and when I want to be comfy but also adorably high fashion. I love them. Now, I also got this little tube top to wear with them. Honestly, this is how long this tube top is. I don't think I will ever wear it at this full length. It's just a bit too long for me and you can tell like it goes well down over the pants. If I just roll these down a little bit, you can see it actually goes like pretty much to my belly button, which I think that is a very cute length for the low rise pants that are coming back in style, which I will not be wearing. I wore enough low rise in the early 2000s to never wear them again, I'm over them. But I do think if it's just like rolled so it's a little bit shorter, it does work better for me for wearing with high rise shorts, even like mid rise shorts. I still just prefer these bandeau style tops to end a little bit shorter. Now the good thing with the longer length, if you are taller than five foot one, you probably also have a taller torso than me. This will actually fit you. One thing I would caution, this is a size small. I'm not wearing a bra under this and I wear approximately a like 34C ish in bras. And I feel like it fills out pretty well and stays up. If you had smaller boobs, this doesn't have that like elasticy material in it that would keep it stuck to you. 
you might encounter a lot of slippage and falling down. If you have bigger boobs though, great news, it fits perfect. <laughs> and as always, this is just a normal bandeau top. There's no support. If you need to wear a bra, you would have to wear a strapless one with this and you might want to consider tucking the top part into your strapless bra to prevent it from falling down and showing off your bra. But basically, I love this outfit. I feel adorable and I can't wait to wear it out. Now, two little accessory pieces that I got include this leopard bucket hat. It's a little bit too big for my head. I would consider myself to have a slightly smaller than average head size. It goes with being very small in general and it's a little bit loose but not loose enough that I think it would blow off if you were wearing it and it was a little bit windy and the leopard pattern. I think very cute. I love a good bucket hat. I wear them constantly because as you see before I get any tan in the summer, I am so pale that I sunburn immediately. Then I also got these sunglasses that are just like a pink set of sunglasses. Of course, as always, they look crazy with the ring light, but I do really like these. I think that they're cute. They're small enough that they're not like overwhelming my face shape. I don't like sunglasses that are so big they cover my eyebrows because <laughs> I find that they make my face look like very weirdly small. These I think are great. They also can get wider, like they have kind of a click setting where you can click it into as narrow or as wide as you need them to be, which I think is actually kind of cool. A lot of times I find sunglasses are like, they default to the widest and my head is not that wide. So I just constantly am like putting them back on because they slip off. If you have a smaller head, these will not slip off of you. Like if you set them at this, they stay at this. So great little pair of sunglasses. Now, next we have this little teeny tiny sundress with this white long sleeve top. Now this top does have the frilly little scalloped edges that everybody who was alive in like the early 2000s knows very well because this is all we wore. This is a super soft ribbed material. This little top would be great to wear in general with just like a pair of jeans and it is pretty cropped. I'm gonna step way up here so I don't flash anybody with what's not on under my dress, but the bottom is also ribbed and it does fall like above your belly button. So with a cute pair of mom jeans and then some cute accessories, maybe do your hair with some space buns. You'll look very 2000s, very cute. I still love that look. I think it looks great. But I also have been loving for spring wearing a cute like really mini sundress with an actual shirt underneath. And once again, this also we used to do a lot in the 2000s and then it kind of went away. But this is a great way to layer. You still feel warm, but you can wear your cute little dresses even now. You don't need to wait. I personally also think for me, just wearing this pink dress and nothing else, I think my skin tone right now, like in the summer, it will be different. But right now in Canada, where the entire winter is gray or black outside, it just washes me out. I don't look great, but I do think that it looks okay with the white underneath because it provides some actual contrast. So I like this a lot. You'll have to let me know if you like it. I know stuff like this isn't everybody's thing. So let me know what you think. Now these shorts are part of a matching set, but very quickly I went and threw on a bra because this little white top is fairly see-through. Like even now I'm sure you can see kind of like the outlines of my nude bra underneath. But just so you can see how long it is, I think it's really cute. I will probably even wear this around the house as like a pajama style top because it is just that comfy. Like I love it. Now for the matching set. So people may or may not remember, but last year I got a matching set of two purple pieces that had like a purple sweater, a set of shorts and a set of track pants. And I ended up returning the shorts because they looked so frumpy. They were kind of weird. So this is the same style of set, which is like the Sunday soft sets. But these shorts, I actually love. They're like a very comfy track inspired short, very, very soft material. They're short without being like literal booty shorts, which on me 
is surprising. I usually find that most of these styles of shorts end up like cutting up and looking very diaper-like on me because they're so short, but I do really like how these ones look and how they fit. They're very comfy. Now the sweater, this is a size small, and I have had this bone with American Eagle many, many times. Why are the sweaters so oversized sometimes? The length on the arms, I would say, is pretty normal. Like, this is a usual amount of hand to be sticking out for me because I'm so short. But this isn't normal for a size small. I don't need this much extra space. I understand wanting something to be, like, a little bit daintily oversized so it looks cute. But not everything needs to be oversized, you know? And, like, is it comfy? Yes. Will I wear this set? Yes, especially like if you're lounging at the cottage or like it's a weekend on, in the summer, you're going to go sit in your backyard, drink your coffee in the morning. This is great for that. It is, like I said, super comfy. Taking the dog for a walk when you just need a little sweater to throw on. This is also a very light sweater, so it's not going to be super hot and sweaty. So you can still wear it in the summer when you just need something covering your arms. It's a little chilly, but not cold. But... All in all, I do like this set. I think it's cute. All right, now we have this very cute, very vibrant little pink racer back crop. And I do like this. I love the color. It's ribbed, it's soft. It's just one of those cheap little, you'll wear it a lot in the summer. And if it wears out, oh well, it wasn't too expensive, but it's very comfy. This would be great with like high-waisted shorts. And you know, I love to sneak pink into all my outfits. I love the color. I think it's great. Then we have these offline real me leggings. Before Aerie launched their big offline push, I adored all of the real me leggings. I still do. For some reason, these ones do not fit the same. They are a little weird to me. I find that they sit lower and like I physically cannot pull them like much higher. And it's not like the waistband is high enough to me, but the actual like lines, like the seams before the waistband feel like they're sitting very low. So that's a little bit odd. And then also I had to get these in a medium short because they didn't have short in size small, which I was like, whatever, what could the difference be? But like I said, <laughs> I could fit another whole human in here easily and these are brand new, so they should be the tightest they'll ever be. And like that weird, they're like, it feels like the waistband is really low thing. Now, I think that they look okay. They're definitely compressing my butt a little bit, but that's to be expected in most pairs of leggings. And then they do say offline on the side. I don't know how easy it will be to read it with the ring lighting, but I think I'm probably going to return them. It just feels a little strange because Every other pair of Real Me leggings that I have, they stay up all day, no problem. Now, most of them are much older, so maybe they've switched to this for all of them. But this material doesn't feel as soft, and because this seam sits so low, it feels like it's just pulling the leggings down off of me constantly. And I personally like my leggings to sit high and stay there. So... Caution, I guess, if you're considering these offline Real Me leggings, they might not be as good as the old ones. Next, we have this adorable little light blue cropped cardigan. This, the sleeves are super duper long on me. It's pretty low cut. Obviously, you could wear a camisole or something underneath. And then it just has like this little triangular cutout part at the bottom, which makes it like clearly look like it's a little bit pulled open. I really, really like this. I actually bought this because I used to have a cardigan the same color that I wore to death. It was very similar mini cropped cardigan that I had maybe like seven or eight years ago. I wore it so much that it actually fell apart at the seams. And this kind of gives me similar vibes, but updated for 2021. And I could definitely see myself wearing this with like a pair of mom jeans or with a cute little skirt, maybe like a denim -y skirt, a little small handbag, and you would be very cute. Once again, very 2000s-esque. I know that a lot of things seem to be like that in this video, but that seems to be what's coming back into fashion now. Everybody wants to look like we did back in the 2000s. 
And I'm okay with that because it's very nostalgic for me. <laughs> Until we get into low rise pants, once again, no, I won't do it. I can't, I, I cannot subject myself to that again. Now, lastly, we have this dress. Now I saved this for last because you, as soon as it came in, I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I should have bought that. I feel like I will definitely return it. Mostly because, and this is my own fault, I got it in a color that is too close to my own skin tone. So if you saw me very quickly from far away, you might literally think I'm not wearing anything. And I don't like that. <laughs> I'm all about the monochrome looks, but not monochrome matching me, if you catch my drift. Now, I do like the style of this dress. I got a kind of similar one last year from American Eagle that was much more patterned than this, but the same kind of like tube top, tighter at the top, and then like a little loose around the bottom, a little flowy. And it also, like, the length was perfect on it, so I was like, maybe all of these dresses are a great length for me. And I would say that this one, once again, this is a really good length. It fits well. I don't like this. I don't know why. It makes me feel very, like, old maid and more nightgown-y, I guess, because of the ruffle. If, if the ruffle wasn't there, I do think it would be a little bit cuter. I don't know how I feel about this little bow either. Once again, with the ruffle and the bow, I just feel like there's too much going on. Color obviously matching me completely is a little odd. The pattern is tiny little flowers, which as you saw with those black pants, the tiny flowers is not what bothers me. I loved those pants, but something about this dress just doesn't do it for me. And like I said, I do think the color majorly plays into it, but this top is not my favorite either. And that is everything that I have for you guys today. You will have to let me know what your favorite and least favorite items were. My favorite was those black pants from the beginning. I absolutely love them. I think this dress is my least favorite. It will definitely be going back along with a couple other pieces I think that I didn't love, especially those leggings. But all in all, I do think that I got some very cute pieces and I'm very excited to wear a lot of these items. Now, thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the big red subscribe button found down below. You can also hit the bell notification button to be notified when I post. I usually put out a new video every single week. Now, as I have mentioned before, I am moving on April the 10th. So there will be kind of an awkward point where I'm not sure where I'm going to be filming at the new house. Things might be a little chaotic for the first few videos. But I am excited to move, excited to have a bit more space, and I can't wait to show you guys the new house. I would love to give a little bit of a tour, which is different than my usual style of video, but if you would be interested in that, definitely let me know. Now, I hope that you have an amazing week, and I will see you next time. Bye!